Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make ads like this, or this, or even this, in minutes with Midjourney and ChatGPT. Midjourney is such an underutilized tool for brands, agencies, dropshippers, or generally anyone who's looking to put out a lot of creative. And that's because there's really not a lot of content out there on how to do this. So this video is for direct response advertisers who simply want to learn the 80-20 of Midjourney. And I promise you, if you stay around to the end, you will know exactly how to use it to put out a ton of creative for your brand, even if you don't have any skill in prompting or graphic design. And for those of you who are new here, I'm Alex Cooper. I run a creative agency called AdCreate, and I make videos on how you can make better ads. So let's start by taking a look at mid journey as a platform and understanding its limitations because in its current state you're not gonna be able to generate product images if you've got a pair of jeans and you try and get someone to wear those pair of jeans uh you're not gonna be able to do that it's gonna come out something like this and this is just not fit for a, a static ad now having conversations with uh, some of my friends who are in ai i really don't think it's long until that technology is there and best believe as soon as it is i will be making a video on it so make sure you're subscribed but we're not gonna be doing that today now, you can use Midjourney to generate ad backgrounds for your product images, um, like the soup supply uh, ad on the right here. And there are many enterprise level uh, businesses who do this with their ads. That being said, uh, it still does take a lot of prompting and graphic design skill to execute this. And like I said, I want this to be very simple. I want it to be the 80-20 and you to be able to go away from this and actually make direct response ads within minutes of finishing this video. So the goal today is to do exactly that. We're gonna look at how we can make direct response ads and use creative ways to showcase the benefits and pain points of our product um, without having a ton of AI uh, experience uh, or prompting experience or graphic design experience. And actually we're gonna make ChatGPT do a lot of the work. And one thing that I really wanna make clear as we get into this tutorial is that you really don't need to have an advanced understanding of mid journey or AI to be able to do this stuff. You don't need to understand like image weighting and star references and character references and all these advanced prompts that all the experts would say that you need. When it comes to direct response ads, the psychology of what you're showcasing with the mid journey image is way more important than how well it's prompted and how well it's designed. And actually some of my best ads have come from the most simple prompts. I mean, look at this prompt here. Like this is a ad that we made for caramels.com in a publication style. I don't know why it's not. There we go, there's the full version. Uh, and the prompt was just simply the world's most delicious looking blueberry pie. Uh, you don't need to know all these fancy terms. Um, we're gonna get into prompts in a moment, but in many cases, we've made great ads just by keeping it simple. So let's build out a couple of these ads by ourselves. And as I said, because we can't generate product images through mid journey, there are two main ways that we are going to showcase value. And that is number one, by showcasing benefits, and number two, by showcasing pain points. So we're gonna make a static uh, image ad for each of them. As you can see, once again here, very, very simple prompts that we've typed into mid journey. This is an ad that we've made for Rougiette. Uh, it is a professional photo shoot image of a middle-aged couple on date night. And then we just put a simple testimonial uh, here with the product image. And that's what all of these mid-journey ads that we're gonna make will be like. They will be a main image that we made on mid-journey and then a smaller image with the product picture. And the great thing about these ads is that once we have made them, we can literally swap this out for as many visuals or as many ad copies as we want. We can test hundreds, of, hundreds and hundreds of different images, hundreds and hundreds of different uh, copies and get learnings super quick uh, for basically no extra work on this. So let's give this a go and try and make one of our own for tumblrware.com. Now, Tumblrware is a knife sharpening brand. They absolutely crush on organic TikTok and I'm proud to say they're now one of our clients. Um, so let's jump into ChatGPT. As we've already spoke about, ChatGPT can very much do a lot of the heavy lifting here. So I'm gonna come in and say, here is my brand and give it the website to go and scan. Then I'm gonna come in and say, uh, analyze the website and summarize the key benefits to our customers. If you are already very confident in your benefits, you can just give the benefits to ChatGPT, but I always prefer to have it look through uh, the site. And now we've got these from the site. I'm just gonna come in and say, uh, give me mid-journey images uh, that we could generate relating to these benefits without the product image. There should be multiple ideas for each benefit. And that's gonna give me our ideas for what we can generate inside of Midjourney. And the cool thing is we can pick a couple of these and literally ask ChatGPT to write the prompts itself. So we can just paste it straight into Midjourney and have Midjourney generate our, image, our images. Uh, I already have a pretty good idea of what I think I would like here. Uh, it's gonna be something to do with food because food images always come out pretty good. 
inside of um, inside of Mid Journey. So I like this one here, a knife gliding through a variety of foods with ease, kind of in line with what I was thinking. Uh, I could go and ask GPT to give me 10 variations of this. I could literally go and ask it to write the prompt itself so I can paste this right into Mid Journey. Uh, I'm not going to because I already have an idea of what I want to do, but you literally could ask ChatGPT to come up with the idea and then ask ChatGPT to write the prompt, paste the prompt into Mid Journey, and then like pretty much most of the work is done. So let's go into Mid Journey, and uh, this is the Mid Journey Alpha uh, website. Um, at the time of recording, this is only available to people who have generated over 100 images inside of the Discord version. If you have not done that yet and you can't access the Mid Journey website, I would recommend generating just 100 dummy images or getting yourself up to 100 images uh, on the Discord app uh, because I find the website much more intuitive and much easier to use. If you're not sure how many uh, images that you've generated on, on Discord, then if you just type slash info, uh, it will tell you exactly how many you've got so you can work out how many you need to do. Um, as soon as you hit 100, it will give you automatic access to the alpha if it hasn't been released to everyone already. But the website is much easier to use and I, I just far prefer it. So anyway, we're inside of Mid Journey and I'm just gonna put a very simple prompt in here. Like I said, simple prompts work a lot of the time. So you can either go and get ChatGBT to generate a, a, a nice long prompt for you, or you can do a very simple one. Like I, I'm gonna test both. A big juicy steak being uh, carved through by a sharp knife. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter this in, and the way that I like to do this, my spelling's awful today, uh, the way that I like to do this is just do a lot of volume, and you will find one that you like. So I'm gonna enter this, that's gonna start generating uh, under create, uh, as you can see here. And I wanna quickly talk about the filters inside of here, because you can tell Mid Journey what you want. You can also adjust the filters on it. So you can adjust uh, your aspect ratio if you're looking for uh, certain um, ratios, and we're looking for one by one here because this is a Facebook ad. Uh, and then we've got other filters here, like stylization, weirdness, and variety. Now, stylization means how closely it's going to stick to your prompt. If you go to zero, it is going to obey your prompt to the letter. Uh, if you go to a thousand, it's pretty much gonna ignore your prompt. Um, and then the default is 100. Weirdness and variety, uh, I don't really know what the difference is. Uh, they both just introduce chaos. Uh, so I like to play with them at different numbers. Uh, the default is to have them at zero. But what I like to do is I will generate this normally with the default settings and then I'll click the reuse text prompt and then I will generate this again at say 300 and I'll enter it, and I'll generate it again. And actually you'll see that like here you can adjust it or you can, when you reuse it here, you can adjust it with the text prompt as you do in Discord. So I'm gonna say stylize 500. And then I'm gonna say stylize 1000. You'll see in a moment when these come out what the difference is between the different settings. Uh, and I'm gonna actually remove this and, and play with some weirdness here. Uh, Cause you can sometimes get better images when you increase the weirdness or the chaos or like variety as they like to call it. Um, one other setting that you may want to play with too is standard versus raw. I found that when we're making humans, uh, the raw mode uh, just tends to work a little bit better, um, but you obviously got to play around with it. And, and honestly, volume does do a lot uh, of good here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different stakes that are being generated, and in a second, we'll go and review them all. But for now, I'm just going to keep on adjusting these settings and we'll see what we can generate. Okay, so we've got all of our steaks now. Some of them are looking better than others, um, but let's just start flicking through them. And what we can do when we find one that we like, and that one's looking a little weird, but this one's good. Um, when we find one that we like, we can come down here to uh, the settings and I can ask for variations. So we can ask for subtle variations, or we can ask for strong variations. I'm actually gonna do both. That's gonna generate four more versions um, of subtle variations of this specific image and four more stronger variations. You can also do remix mode, which is almost like giving feedback on the mid-journey image, uh, but I tend to stick to just generating a ton more variations. I think this is a bit of a volume game because uh, you will find something that you like eventually. You can also do things like, you know, changing the zoom, uh, panning uh, throughout this image, changing the aspect ratio um, and uh, getting it to rerun, etc. And once you found one that you want to use, you're just gonna to go to upscale, subtle, that's gonna upscale this, um, or I could go to upscale creative and give it a little bit more freedom, but I'm happy with this one. So I'm gonna to get to upscale and then I can go and download this image and put it into my 
Figma template. Now, some people use Canva for their static, some people use Photoshop. I prefer to use Figma, I find it a lot easier. I actually use a tool called Creative OS, which has got like 800 templates or something like that to help you make static super easily. Uh, this is not sponsored, I just genuinely love them. Uh, they do a great job and they really help me put out a ton of static, especially when we've got these mid-journey visuals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and download this, jump into Figma, and I'm gonna pull up my template inside of Creative OS. So they've pulled a bunch of different statics here and then made them basically editable. Um, so I'm gonna pull in my steak, size it down, I'm gonna put it in here, and then I basically just need to edit the text around it and it will be like pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna pull in my headline here, let's see what we can do. Let's move that down. Uh, I'm just gonna pull in a customer review as the headline, and then I'm gonna add a little bar at the bottom because I want to show the product. Um, so give me a moment, I'm gonna do some graphic design and then we'll be able to export this and put it into Ads Manager. And there we go. Uh, that is just over five minutes of work, a couple of minutes in GPT, a couple of minutes inside of Mid Journey, and then a couple of minutes inside of Figma. And now the beauty is I can take this and I can make as many stats as I want because I can change the headline, I can change this visual, I can even change the copy at the bottom in here um, and basically test unlimited versions uh, of this inside of Meta. And that is the power of being able to utilize Mid Journey properly. And once you've done that, you can go through the same process for your pain points of your audience as we have done for this anti-dandruff shampoo brand Flakes, who we've covered on the channel before. Now we put it into ChatGPT. ChatGPT told us that a big pain point for our audience was the insecurity of dandruff. So we went over to Mid Journey and we just typed in simple, uh, simple prompts of visuals of dandruff on men or guys looking insecure about their dandruff. And there's a ton of images that we could use here. Uh, different settings on them that I was as I, as I was trying different things, uh, making different things work. This is the original one that I ended up choosing. Uh, but there's a few more that I developed as well. And as you can see, like we could very easily test a lot of different, uh, a lot of different visuals. And, and you've is literally just got to tell Mid Journey exactly what you want. Like a man looking secure, insecure about his dandruff captured on an iPhone quality shot. If that's what you want, tell that to Mid Journey. If it's a cinematic shot, if it's a photorealistic shot, if it's a hyperrealistic shot, like just tell it exactly what you want and try that with a load of different settings because you'll find one that works. And if you keep drilling down into the variations of it, you'll find something that you'll be able to take and use for a static. So this is one that we ended up generating. This is actually based on an Ovi ad. Um, so shout out to those guys and shout out to Creative OS once again, because they've crushed it. Um, big fan of them. Uh, I would recommend using them. Um, once again, not sponsored, but like if you do want to help out the channel, I would appreciate if you click the link in the description below. Um, we have this visual, uh, and then we could easily just swap it out for another one of the mid-journey images, which is another guy with dandruff that we're showing here. And once again, headlines too. We could test tons of these and make almost like unlimited statics, uh, both for benefits and for pain points. And that process can be summarized in the following prompt uh, that I've put together. This is one that I usually use. Here's some information about my brand, and then I've given a, a basically a long explanation of the benefits of pain points, and that will give you all of the ideas that ChatGPT should be able to give you, or at least a baseline for it. Uh, if you use this, it's got all the parameters that I use when I'm asking for benefits and pain points ideas. And then from that, you can go and develop it yourself, get it to give you more ideas, crazier ideas, less crazy ideas, ideas more focused about pain point X or benefit Y. It's up to you, but this is a good baseline to start with. So I'll leave that prompt uh, somewhere in the description. Now, I wanna take a quick moment to say that I want you on my team. If you are a creative strategist and you're preferably based in the UK and you wanna work with some of the best of the best strategists, media buyers, editors, and brands like Huel, AS Beauty, Licorice.com, and all of the brands we've gone through here today, then AdCrate are hiring for our creative strategists. So if you are looking for full-time remote work and you are interested in finding out more about the role, click the link in the description down below and go and apply. I will be reviewing every single application as we are looking to bring on a top strategist onto our team. So back to mid-journey. And another way that we can creatively show the benefits of our product is by tapping into our customer, customer's reviews, and more specifically, tapping into the similes and the metaphors that they use to describe our products. Because sometimes we can use examples like this, this is an example from Ash from Ovi, great static by the way, 
uh, that he generated with Midjourney, and he actually said that it's performing inside the Atacal, which is awesome to see. Similes and metaphors can often give us like exaggerated visuals that can stop someone in their scroll. For example, it's like melting butter. And this is a very, this is a very scroll stopping visual. He's got the headline and then he's got at the bottom, the product with a headline call out. So the prompt that you can use for this is put all of your reviews into ChatGPT and then ask it to pull out all the similes and metaphors. If it doesn't, the cool thing is, you can just say, based on your understanding of our product and our audience, make up some customer reviews about brand and you're often you'll find that you can go and generate images like this uh, that are scroll stopping visuals that relate to your product and then you just pull in the product at the uh, the bottom of the image like that. So that's a, personally a trick that I like to use uh, to generate a lot more ideas for mid journey statics um, as well. In terms of other examples, I've got some more here and I just wanna like make the point that whatever you sell, like whatever industry you're in, it may be harder for some products than others, but you, there will be a way for you to use Midjourney to make a ton of stats for your brand. Beauty, like who would have thought you could make Midjourney stats for beauty? Because you generally need to show the product being used in most ads. But we've got here a side profile close up of a 48 year old uh, with mature skin, and this is focusing on the benefits. Um, I am no graphic designer, and I do not claim to be proud of this uh, product's image, but I'm sure with a proper graphic designer and more time allocated to it, um, this would be good to go and launch inside the ad account. And once again, we can easily change this image uh, simply by changing the prompts inside of Midjourney. If you're a digital product, there is there is so much more that you can do here because you're not bound to having to try and fit a physical product into the ad. Uh, these are a couple of our ads for 1440 and like you can really go crazy with these. Um, this one is actually an example of like us asking ChatGPT to come up with a more thorough prompt. And like I said, sometimes I use the simple ones, sometimes I use uh, the longer ones and I ask ChatGPT to write them for me. And yeah, just see what comes out best. In this case, uh, it was a ChatGPT prompt. And like I said, you can really play around if you're a digital product. Publication style is also a very cool creative way. Uh, if you've got different you know, sizes or flavors or colors or, or launches that you've got for new products. In this case, we made one for pretzels.com, launching the apple strudel flavor pretzels. And it's just a simple uh, mouth-watering apple strudel. Um, and we played around with a lot of different variations of this, ended up making this. Uh, the publication style is a very good ugly ad. And this is just our way of putting a, a mid-journey AI spin on this. And by the way, there is absolutely nothing stopping us from making video ads with Midjourney as well. Let me show an example of a problem solution ad that we made. Uh, and the, the format that these typically follow is having Midjourney images for the first half of the ad and then cut into the solution and cut into our UGC B-roll footage. But let's watch this ad through and uh, see how we've done it. Did you know your everyday toilet paper could be putting you at risk? Researchers at the environmental working group have found that most of the toilet paper brands use polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAs, a group of harmful chemicals. PFAs raises concerns because they're linked to health issues, like lowering your immune system, increasing cholesterol, and even affecting reproduction. Toilet paper not only poses health risks, but also leaves your butt far from properly clean. Put it like this, if you got mud on your hands, would you only wipe it? Then why are you only wiping your butt? Nature gave us water, the ideal element to stay safe and clean. That's where the Tushy Bidet steps in. Tushy is a modern bidet attachment for your toilet, designed to use water for a more effective cleaning than toilet paper. You've got options from a gentle to a power cleanse, tailoring your clean to your needs. Tushy offers you a fast, gentle, and extremely refreshing solution. No more discomfort, uncleanliness, and harmful chemicals. See why over 3 million people love their tushy bidet. There you go. And those are all very simple mid-journey prompts uh, that your editors can generate if, if given a script. And they just insert those images into Premiere Pro and then pan across uh, as they talk through the script. And the cool thing is that this is a few examples that I've showed you today. They really are unlimited ways that you could integrate mid-journey into your ads. Uh, you just gotta be creative in how you showcase the benefits and the pain points. So by no means should you feel constrained to the stuff that I've showed you today. Go and try out mid-journey, have a play around with it and start thinking about creative ways that you can work it into your ads. So that is it for today's video. I hope you found it valuable. If you have, drop a like, subscribe, go and watch this video here or here or somewhere on the screen if you wanna learn about more creative strategy and how to make better ads. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.